Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. So, TSA, which is the Transportation Security Administration, those are the people who keep us safe during our travels. They are the people who scans our laptops and our carry-on bags and checks our IDs that match our tickets and all that kind of stuff to make sure that people are not bringing um, things on to the plane that could jeopardize our security. Those are the people that we see when we go through the scanners and all of that kind. They're regular people just like us, but they just work for the government to protect us. They have come up with this whole body imaging thing, whole body imaging thing, where they use high frequency waves to see our bodies when we go through the scanner. You know, and it's a more in-depth scanning now than it was before. It used to be where it's kind of, you know, they just check in on the outside, but now they have these waves in the scanner that allow them to see a full body picture of us without our clothes. Here are some pictures of exactly what they see, the personnel sees through the scanning, and you'll be able to see why this is important to us. So as you can see, that is really, really, really revealing. They can see if you're tucked, they can see if you have a prosthetic on. They can see if you are binded for the F to M fellas out there that bind breasts down. They can see that. Um, if you're a girl that pads, any kind of booty pads and all that kind of stuff, they can see that your real body under there is not real. They can see your wee-wee. They can see your non-existent wee-wee. They can see all of that. <laughs> Ooh. So, do you see why this is a concern? with the girls and the guys. So that means it could be a very uncomfortable situation because, you know, these are human beings just like us. If I walk through the scan and you see some meat tucked in and dangled, it's only, I think it's only human nature for somebody to say, do you see this? <laughs> but see me, I wouldn't care because I try to get on my plane and I sit in there like this. Hey, come on, give me your two. <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, but uh, everybody, that will be, de everybody is not like me. That will be devastating to some people. <laughs> so it's like a lot of people don't, you know, don't need all that, especially these super stealth girls. Now you can opt out of this body imaging scan thing, but then they will have to pat you down and feel you under your breasts and all this kind of even more touchy-feely type of thing. So the scan is quick. You get scanned, you ain't got no metal stuff, you're going about your business. But if you don't want to be seen in which we wee out and you uh, all of that, then you can opt out for it and then there's going to be some officers that pat you down. So it's like you can choose that or you can choose this one. And you can choose to go to a private setting for them to patch you down also. But all of this will take time. So if you choose to do that, then you are going to have to make sure that you are in that airport ready to get checked in early, 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 early. So you can't be running late. So if you're running late, you know you're going to have to go through the scanner <laughs> and deal with what you have to do with it. Some will say that this is a privacy issue, right? Because, oh my God, no. <laughs> you know, people just do not want you looking into all their goods and things. We don't want you doing all that. But, hey, this is also a security issue. You know, those people who are purposely trying to harm us, you know, it's like, oh. My personal opinion about this, I feel like this is not just a trans concern. Like, this is really particular. I, because I cover trans issues, of course, because I'm trans, I wanted to let y'all know what was going on. But I don't think this is a, just, just a trans issue. There are heterosexual guys out here that don't want people to know that they have a You know, so they're going through the scan and you see this little ding ding and you like, oh, come on through. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's some embarrassing moments. If you got ladies that are body conscious, if you got a little roll here, a little pooch here, they're going to be able to see all of that. You know, so it's like, oh, you know, it's not just a trans issue thing. But also, this is about our security. We know... 9-11 happened. If you want to see my 9-11 video, you can click right here. <laughs> so, you know, 9-11 happened. So after 9-11, we got all this 
foolery and this stuff that's just, oh, God, we got people trying to kill us while we're going to fly to see our mothers. Folks trying to kill us and blow us up and run us in the buildings. I don't, ooh, no. I, you know, so we have to take precautions. Bottom line, we have to take precautions, and I'd rather be secure knowing that I'm on a plane safe than to have, than to, for that few seconds of being uncomfortable and then plucking my teeth. I don't care. Those people do not know you. Once you get through that scanner, even if they clock that you, ooh, she got a big old bang bang. <laughs> you still grab your things and go into your gate and leave it. You're not sitting there and you don't have to work with those people. You don't have to do. Now, hold on. Now, I used to work at the airport. Now, you got to go through that scan thing a lot. So, if I worked at the airport still, they would have clocked me. Ooh, that would be devastating. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think, I'm just the type of person that feels it's more, I'm more about security. I do not want to be ran into buildings. I don't want to deal with that. So I can, I'd much rather deal with the little uncomfortableness of you seeing a picture of maybe that's a piece than, you know, have to deal with going down in the plane full fire. <laughs> so let me know what you all think. This is your girl Diamond.